The Sustainable Development Goals is aimed at making life more meaningful. This no doubt requires concerted commitment if these goals are to be achieved within the allotted time. As a result, the socio-economic well-being of the Benue people, especially women, children, the elderly and the less privileged, has been given unprecedented priority by the wife of the Benue State Governor, Dr. Eunice Fultom, through a poverty alleviation program the Unis Spring of Life Foundation. As a non-governmental and non-profit organization working to realize its mission and vision of improving the lot of the vulnerable, reducing poverty, improving health, education and agriculture, the testimonies of its impact are resounding. Since its establishment, the foundation has been able to liberate thousands of Benue people from the shackles of poverty and has become a vehicle for transforming lives. The UNI Spring of Life Foundation's carefully planned programs and policy thrust are designed around a model aimed at fostering human capital development through education and health programs, as well as improving agriculture and supporting the socio-economic growth of the Benue people. This, no doubt, plays a complementary role to the positive change the Otom administration is making in all facets of life for the Benue people. The foundation has three thematic areas of operation, health, education, empowerment. And our empowerment has a bias in agriculture. The founders' firm belief in the adage, health is wealth, is the motivation behind ESLF's focus on the health and well-being of underserved populations across the state. Such interventions are in the areas of cancer awareness, treatment and care, as well as medical support to the internally displaced. In this venture alone, the Foundation's efforts have positively impacted on more than 714 households. I lost my mom through cancer when I was just a teenager. And uh, it was quite challenging. But now I know that if she got that needed support, she could have been alive today. So I have been challenged through that experience to support people in whatever way I can. The foundation has also embarked on free medical outreaches across the state. These have been carried out in phases, with over 9,000 beneficiaries recorded in the first two. The program was designed to benefit all 216 council wards in the 23 local government areas of Benue State. I was still breastfeeding when I discovered a lump on the breast. It was developing so fast. I was depressed, I was unhappy, but I just have to let my husband know about it. He had to write to the Minister of Women Affairs we accepted her peanuts and that was the best thing in our lives. I was so happy. Using a war to ward approach, the third phase of the program is still ongoing with over 15,000 beneficiaries recorded so far. ESLF is also paying attention to the issues of HIV, AIDS and cancer. This concern was demonstrated during the International Days commemorating these health conditions in 2017 and 2018. Four people had the opportunity of being treated under the Rehabilitation and Care for Victims of Drugs and Other Substance Abuse Health Initiative. 
Worthy of note also is that more than 24,000 persons are receiving free medical support, including surgery for various ailments. This is an addition to the provision of sundry critical medical equipment to primary healthcare facilities across the state. They treated me and I'm out. Why? Well, we now I'm feeling better. We have people that have had a total reformation in their lives. We are happy that they are better than what they were in the past. Understanding the importance of education as a tool for the advancement of human societies, the Uni Spring of Life Foundation has also made remarkable impact in the education sector. The activities of the foundation target improving literacy in the state, as demonstrated through the organization of literacy competitions in the three senatorial districts of the state, which had 210 students participating. We are happy to receive your, your support to us. We are very glad. Uh, Our Excellency, uh, Dr. Mrs. Eunice Oto, has taken to educational development of uh, the Benway Child, especially in St. Mark Secondary School, Happy. This is very, very wonderful. She promised and she has fulfilled her promise. After I left secondary school, my father told me that she will not be able to sponsor me because it's no financially buoyant. And I was given uh, a very huge amount of money for my school fees. In fact, everything I need, I needed as of then, I was given the money to do. For him, it was just through test messages and I never met him. I don't know how he looks, but uh, I've continued to give him that support. The dream I had of being an accountant, I was still able to fulfill it and I'm very, very happy for and grateful, grateful for that. Remember my excellency? Yes. ESLF has also made scholarship an integral part of its social and humanitarian service. Several secondary school students spread across the three senatorial districts of the state have benefited from the scheme. Not forgetting also the commendable effort of sponsoring the registration of 306 girls for the JAMP examination and providing educational support to another 10 students in primary, secondary and tertiary institutions. Things are very, very difficult. For Her Excellency to spare the amount of money she has spared to come and to donate for your own education. It is a very, very big thing and you can't step in the right direction. I already told the governor's wife that I will collaborate with her in the area of her initiative, particularly the children. Some of the children are going to school free. They are enjoying scholarship. And here, at her own instance, you are also going to enjoy scholarship. The economic empowerment model of ESLF has remained strategic in the socio-economic well-being of the people of Benue State. The program which cuts across viable economic projects and agricultural development has helped many to become self-reliant. Cut the goals of uh, ESLF, it talks about ending poverty and hunger, or promote healthy living, healthy well-being for the people, the farmers under the Foundation's agriculture scheme were supported to cultivate maize, soybeans and sesame seeds in various parts of the state. In one harvest year, a total of six to seven bags of maize and three and a half bags of sesame seeds were harvested, half of which was given to the community, while the other half was retained. Since inception, the Unispring of Life Foundation has remained consistent in supporting the growth of agriculture. 10 hectares of land have been acquired as part of the processes of establishing a model farm. Five of these were used to cultivate cassava and maize, while the other five hectares were used to grow soybeans and oil palm. Results have been fantastic and encouraging. There is much heat unexpected, and uh, the, the whole uh, cultivated 25 hectares of land. We expect to harvest about 100 bags 
from what is on ground. We're doing very well. Uh, if you go, this is just a little piece of it. It's where we're standing, we're standing on the ground. And this is one among the many, many hectares that we have done. Uh, you see, we started, it was a horrid thing where we started. We know that next year we'll do even better than what we did this year. As part of its trailblazing initiative, the foundation organized its first youth summit in June 2017, which drew youth from all 23 local government areas of the state. 522 youth participated in the two-day summit, where they were encouraged to be self-sufficient and learn the trade. These three thematic areas, there is something that runs through women and youth empowerment. So whether we're doing agri, we're looking at how do we empower women and youth. The founder, Her Excellency, wanted an organization that would birth her dream of a society without barriers to decent living. Another significant milestone that forms part of the remarkable progress of impacting lives positively was the first and second Women Economic Summit held in 2016 and 2017, respectively. Over 2,000 women were reached across all 216 council wards of the state. Women occupy a peculiar position in the life of any society as they play various roles, including the training and upbringing of our children. There is no claim saying that women are currently key players of the social, political and economic activities of any given nation or state, including member states. The contributions of female women to the family growth of their state, particularly in agriculture and entrepreneurship among others, have risen in great quantity. It is this reality that has given justification for the summit which is coming at the very auspicious time when we are encouraging for our people to rise up to the economic challenges of our time. Following the successful hosting of the first Women Economic Summit, loans were advanced to women for purposes of self-empowerment. This was enabled by a 100 million naira facility acquired from the state government. The founder will stop at nothing to ensure that the youth are empowered. This explains the ESLF sponsoring youth to China to acquire skills in the following areas, leatherworks and fiber, automobile parts and furniture making. So far, the first and second tranches of the loans have been disbursed through the Better Life Microfinance Bank after thorough screening of applicants. In just two years, the Unispring of Life Foundation has shown that goodwill, grit and determination are all it takes to make a difference in the lives of the needy. However, your support and encouragement can help us achieve more.